Fuck you, you're right. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial video. And today I'm going to show you how to import your Epic games into LaunchBox. These will work in LaunchBox and Big Box once we get this all set up. This process is super easy to do given the recent implementation of the Epic importer inside of LaunchBox and Big Box. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I would recommend creating an Epic account. Now I know there's already a lot of these PC game launchers out there or PC game stores, but Epic does give away some pretty good stuff every single month. And that's really the main reason I use it. I've gotten a ton of games for free and over here in my library, everything you're seeing right here has been given for free or it's just free to play, except for one of these. I did buy Red Dead in here, but everything else has been free on the Epic store and it's totally worth installing if you're into PC gaming. Obviously, I've got an account for Epic Games, and I do have a few games here from the Epic Store installed on my PC. So I'm gonna head back over to LaunchBox. From the dropdown here, we're gonna find Tools, and we're gonna find Import. From here, you can see we have a bunch of different options, but since we're covering Epic Games in this video, we're gonna go with Epic Games. So we'll choose this. It's going to give us a little bit of a walkthrough here. This is the import wizard here. I would recommend reading through everything. But for this tutorial, we're going to choose next. We definitely want to import these as Windows games because they're PC games after all. We'll choose next. Search for game information in the local metadata database. And I always choose prioritize Epic Games metadata. Now you can actually try two different ways, but Epic Games have already got those games up on their market. I'll choose next. From here, you can deselect anything you don't want to download, but I'm going to leave everything checked here. Would you like to specify any custom options? The only thing I leave checked here is look for PDF files. Next. And now it's going to tell us in order to parse our Epic Games library, we need to be logged in. So do we want to log in now? Yes. If not, then we can't do anything with this. We'll choose yes. It's going to bring up the Epic Games login menu, and you can log in any way you've signed up with Epic Games. I've gone with an email. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in real quick. Once we log in, it's going to give us a list of all of the games that we own in the Epic Game Store. Now the ones I have installed will be checked, but if you did want to import the ones that you do not have installed on this specific PC right now, you can check them. And from the bottom here, we can choose check not installed, check installed, check none, check all. So if we check none, nothing's going to import. This is going to find all of the games that we have installed on the PC we're using right now. And this is exactly what I like to do. So it's checked through all of the games I have installed on this computer and I'll choose finish. Now it's going to download the metadata and get everything set up for us. We'll give this a second to finish up. And with the new import process, we can actually choose OK now because the games were imported, but it's going to download all of our artwork in the background. The metadata has already been downloaded and it's ready to go. We could actually start a game right now if we want to, but as you can see, we still have this progress bar down here, downloading all of the artwork for the games we just imported. And once it's totally completed, you'll be prompted that all of our media has been downloaded. And now, as you can see, we have our Epic Games imported. So I had Fortnite, Overcooked 2, I had a few more in here. I didn't have many installed. I think I had Torchlight 2. But uh, if we go over here to Overcooked 2, which was recently a free game, you can see we have all of the metadata over here. Information, screenshots, all that good stuff. And in order to start playing directly from LaunchBox or BigBox, all we need to do is start the game up. And there we have it. We've now got our Epic Games imported into LaunchBox and Big Box, and it's really as easy as that. And just to give you a quick look, we also have them imported into Big Box. So everything that goes in the LaunchBox will be over here as well. We have Fortnite, uh, Overcooked 2. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. It's pretty easy to import these games. I just wanted to get this video out of the way. If you have any questions, definitely let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.